So, Miles Maker says that you want to expel his kid for a busted camera? Absolutely. We haven't decided that yet. Really? The kid's an asshole. He was extremely disrespectful to me once on the elevator. Right, so, this does not leave this room, but Miles Jr. is heavily medicated. No. Oh. And when he was four, he threatened to drive a truck bomb into his preschool. Ooh. That's ridiculous. He couldn't drive. Well, they found fertilizer and a Zippo in his Legos. He's a gardener. And when he was eight, he, uh, he tied up his speech therapist. Nobody found her for two days. He's a psychopath. Probably. But if we expel him, then Miles will sue the school for, you know, uh, what? Sort of lack of sensitivity to his son's emotional problems. Barbarian. And if he sues, the film school could lose all its funding. What funding? How, pray tell, would that affect my archival library? Library? We could all lose our jobs. <sighs> yes, exactly. And maybe me too. If Mr. Miles Maker wants to make this a matter of Hollywood savvy and grotesque intimidation, then I feel so inclined to walk this story right through the front doors of the New York Times to the headquarters where my friend works. Your friend is an opera critic. That he is. I don't want to talk to an opera critic, ever. Okay, okay, he's coming here tomorrow to talk about this. Miles Maker's coming here? Yes. Oh, look who's a fan. I'm not a fan. And as far as I'm concerned, you can throw the little shit out. Well, Larry, I thought you were good friends with Miles Maker. We were until he slept with my wife and caused my divorce. Actors. My first wife. Let me talk to Miles. I, I, I know how to handle him. What does that mean? It means I'll talk to him. You want your job, don't you? That would be great. Oh, no. Not you, too. What? Everyone's excited about Miles Maker coming. I thought you were above that. <laughs> Whatever. I saw the way you acted when Emma Stone was here. Don't knock Emma. I mean, did you see the way she helped to help and help? True. Mm -hmm. And she's got that sexy, manly voice that you love. I know your game. You're on a secret mission to get Miles Maker into your movie. I would never do that. This is strictly school business. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Guy hasn't won a Nobel Peace Prize. Okay, guys. Maybe a quick group. Oh, great. Now with the onesies. Selfies. Okay. Okay, good, guys. Okay, great, guys. Miles. Miles, hi. I'm hi. Alice. I'm the uh, chair of the department. Welcome. Hi, Alice. Well, thank God you're a female. <laughs> I mean, we could use more of that, is what I mean. Oh, absolutely. Um, welcome. We're so pleased that you could come to us. Yes, I'm Sebastian Gold. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm a fan of some of your earlier work. <laughs> so am I, Sebastian, so am I. Mm. Now I just sell popcorn. Oh. <laughs> hey, Billy. Oh. Billy the Kid, yeah. nice to know you. Miles, <laughs> Miles Maker, as I live and breathe, where have you been, you naughty boy? Well, hello, you. Victoria, Victoria Mudd. Remember we did Robot Hearts together, and we were waiting for lunch, and you said, this food is so bad, and I said, this food is so bad. Even a robot couldn't eat it. Don't you remember that we laughed and laughed? We had the best time. It's impossible. Robots can't eat. Their insides will rust away. How are you? Mwah. Mwah. So Miles. good to see you. Uh, right this way. Yes, okay. right this way. Thank you. Thank you. This way. Um, I heard you like Japanese green tea and spelt toast. Wow, thank you. Wow. Well, someone's done their research. <laughs> Actually, it turns out that green tea is full of poison. Oh, you know that, right? You're trying to kill me? Oh, I'm so sorry. What else can I get you? Nothing, nothing. I feel like a massage or something. A massage? <laughs> There's the man. You sneaky bastard. You teach here? Oh, uh, gotta give back, Miles. Mind if I sit in and support my old friend here? I didn't know you two were friends. Yeah. I, I wish I'd known when I asked Milton to get my script to Clooney. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, you actually got her script to Clooney before me? This is supposed to be about me. I know, but he, you're right, son. Uh, everyone, sorry, um, Junior has something he'd like to say. I'm sorry I took the equipment, and I'm sorry I disrespected you. I'm deeply ashamed. Young man, that is very brave. You stirred my soul. Really? 
Because to me, it sounded completely insincere. What the Shh. fuck, dude? Hey, hold it. Don't talk to these people like I'm that. only apologizing oh. because you threatened to take away my trust fund. And I will... Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, can I just say something mm -hmm. real quick? Mm -hmm. um, I'm a college dropout myself. Yes, I've got money and awards and honorary degrees from... Um, I forget where, but it doesn't matter. The thing is, I still feel incomplete. Hmm. And that's not what I want for Junior. Sure, I could get him a job directing the next big superhero movie if I wanted. Really? Quiet! Sorry, again. Anyway, that's not what I want. What I want is for him to get his degree. Truth be told, he's already been kicked out of two very prestigious film schools, and we had hoped that we'd have a little better luck here. You know, because of your lower ranking. Hmm. But listen, what, whatever <laughs> you decide, we're going to pay for the broken camera, and we would like to donate three more to the school. Oh. <laughs> wow, thank you, that is so generous. So you're not gonna sue us? No, of course not. No, that'd be like pushing over a three-legged dog. <laughs> oh, you are a saint. Oh, you are a saint. They should rename the entire school the Miles Maker Film School. Please, that would be... <laughs> that'd be fantastic. God, I can't believe you're being such an asshole. I'm gonna kill myself right now. What? Junior? I'm gonna kill myself. Junior? Excuse me. Junior! You are a murderer! <laughs>